grievances of both parties are probably slightly different from, from what they say they are. Uh, the M2M are a hardened bunch of uh, politicians and uh, political operators. I don't think that a few uh, harsh words from uh, Mr. Mirza qualify as reason enough for them not to be able to work with the government anymore. I think what we're likely to actually see in terms of concessions from the PPP is uh, speeding up of the local government uh, system so that Karachi can once again be handed over to the MQM administratively. I think that that might go a long way toward assuaging the MQM's concerns. Right. The JUIF, on the other hand, uh, might not be as difficult uh, to, to win over, and certainly uh, the Religious Affairs Ministry mm -hmm. certainly be in play, um, as would uh, several other issues. Already the PPP has backed away from the uh, private member's bill that was uh, proposed by Sherry Rahman on the uh, amendments to the blasphemy law. Mm -hmm. um, there's not much else that the PPP could do that would signify uh, its kowtowing to, uh, to uh, the JUIF and uh, sort of the religious rights interests. Right. Um, Mr. Zedi, uh, many feel that uh, different political parties, by making all of these statements and doing what they're doing these days, have already started their preparations for the next election. Do you agree with that uh, opinion? Uh, no, I, I, I don't think so. I, I don't think that the country is uh, ready for another election. I think that there might be some, some folks that, uh, that think it is. But uh, another election is not going to deliver a dramatically different parliamentary equation. Uh, we have to begin to understand the fractured nature of Pakistani society and the fact that I don't think we'll ever see mm -hmm. at least a clean uh, and fair and free election that will deliver the kind of mandate that was delivered in, uh, in 1997 to, uh, to the PMLN. I think what you'll continue to see mm -hmm. uh, for the foreseeable future in this country are fractured and fragmented parliaments, which will look very similar to the one that we have here. The only difference might be that there'll be a shift between the PPP and the PMLN, mm -hmm. where the P PMLN will win a little more seats than it has at this time, and the PPP will win a few uh, less. Right. Uh, and back and forth they'll go for the foreseeable right. future. And so really there's no, there's no real policy or political utility to right. a new election. Mr. Zevi, now what future do you see for uh, Dr. Zulfikar Mirza, and do you see Azam Swati coming back? Uh, both of those figures are, are relatively uh, unimportant in, in national politics. I think uh, our need, the need of analysts like myself and, and newspapers and, and, and television channels uh, like yours and others, I mean, we need, we need people to talk about. And I think Zulfikar Mirza and Azam Sawati both make great, uh, they make great copy. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they're politically relevant. And I think they, they'll easily be sacrificed. Right at the altar of political expediency. Okay, a little um, uh, more in detail on uh, the MQM's actions these days. Uh, uh, well, they've very clearly said that they will not be part of the cabinet. They've resigned from there, but they've also said that they will not sit in the opposition benches. So apparently there's no threat to the coalition there in the center. But uh, how is it possible for the Pakistan People's Party to win MQM's heart? What is MQM trying to get at? Like I said, I think the most important thing that the MQM would would like to get out of the PPP is a uh, speeded up mm -hmm. process that delivers a functional local government, right. at least to Pakistan cities. Right. And that would enable the MQM to take over the administrative machinery of Pakistan's biggest, uh, biggest city. Right. I mean, let's remember, in terms of uh, financial resources mm -hmm. and size, Karachi is... Uh, Absolutely six times the size of Balochistan. So Absolutely. It's a very significant no. ad administrative area. Now, Mr. Zedi, many analysts believe that the latest drama between the MQM and the PMLN will indirectly facilitate the Pakistan People's Party. Your comments on that? Sorry, could you repeat the question? Many analysts believe that the latest drama between uh, the Pakistan uh, Muslim League Nawaz and the MQM will indirectly facilitate the Pakistan People's Party. I'd like to hear your comments on that. Sure, but I also think that... Uh, a lot of the uh, sort of anger that's being exchanged between Heather Abbas Rizvi and Chaudhry Nassar and, and others in, in the MQM and the, and the PMLN mm -hmm. has to do with political posturing and has to do with the, the, the need to keep uh, things in the news cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact is that both the MQM and the PMLN have been involved in backdoor discussions with mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. for the last several months. And so, you know, I, I don't think, yes, of course, uh, 
temporarily there might be some benefit to the PPP, mm -hmm. but uh, the idea somehow that this would close the doors for any kind of a, a union or an agreement mm -hmm. or a coalition between the MQM and the PMLN in the future, mm -hmm. that's absolutely ridiculous. Pakistani politics is very fluid. Mm -hmm. Politics all over the world is very fluid, mm -hmm. and uh, politicians have short memories. Right. Thank you very much uh, for talking to Express 24-7.